Oasis TV, bringing worlds together. The higher part of you only wants one thing. Your sacred self wants you to be at peace. That's what enlightenment is. So your response that you are about to give, if it is one of being kind rather than being right, you have allowed the higher part or the sacred part of you to, to triumph in that one instant. And if you practice, begin practicing that. As you're about to flip somebody the bird, as you're about to... Uh, uh, yell at a, a flight attendant or a waitress or somebody who's got your bag or somebody who's done something improper or one of your children or your spouse or whatever and you're just about to have this discussion and, and you stop just in a second and say, do I need to be right here or do I need, am I going to be kind? Because freedom, the subtitle of your sacred self is making the decision to be free. Freedom is the absolute lack of concern about yourself. When you are independent of the good opinion of other people, what you are really saying is that I am on purpose, and it isn't myself. But who is this me in the dark? I step aside to avoid his presence, but I escape him not. He makes the dust rise from the earth with his swagger. He adds his loud voice to every word I utter. He is my own little self, my Lord. He knows no shame, but I am ashamed to come to thy door in his company. If you can find a way to tame that person inside of you who believes that you are separate from this divine intelligence, you will have begun the first step of mastering the ability to manifest. And it's like the major paradigm that we get stuck in, which often when I talk about this on the radio and on TV across the country, really alienates people. I tell, I tell them very, very clearly, we have a fear of being God. And you have to get over that fear. You must understand that this intelligence... This divine, organizing, universal intelligence is everywhere.